Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Option Pit, your home for options, education, and trading. Uh, we will be talking about higher interest rate situations, how options are affected by them, the kind of things that you want to do. Um, I'll be talking about kind of the basics of row. Also, the basics of leaps with higher interest rates and the kind of trades that could be interesting from like, you know, looking at one to one and a half years out, something like that. Uh, Mark will be doing more strategies with like uh, treasuries, Byra, anything, anything that could be interest rate sensitive on the interest rate sensitive instruments. OK, that's kind of how it's going to break down. And with that, also, I believe last night, if you go to our blog, we should see. Here's a replay. Um, uh, stock replacement strategy. Uh, when interest rates start to go up, call value. It's usually just simple thing is it's better for calls. Um, calls become uh, worth more just because interest rates go up. It's uh, just telling you now, it's not a major effect. Okay, it's not major, but... Um, it's still real. Okay, so a free webinar last night from Mark on that. Uh, also, option pick clients. You will get a link. You will get a link from us uh, for the event on Friday. All option pit. There is always room for our option pick clients because it is free for you. Everybody else has to sign up, so don't worry. I get all those questions every week, and I will send out a note this week to preempt all that. And I will still get questions. But anyway, uh, okay, so let's move on. Uh, what do we have? So I think we have a couple of things here. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, what is this, phase two of the sector rotation? Um, real simple. Uh, Apple down, Amazon down a little, Cisco down a little bit, Google down a little bit, um, Microsoft down a little bit, Netflix down a little bit. So Q's down a half a percent. Uh, oil stocks. Um, up, okay, up, up, up and away. Uh, we've had a couple of little long trades in here for this stuff. We've had a couple of little long bank trades. Um, up, up, up and away, vol going up. All no, get out of the way. Uh, fade all this at your peril, I guess. That's the only thing I can say. It looks like money is moving into commodities, fertilizers, uh, like building stuff businesses into banking uh, because there looks like a little more banking friendly administration coming, whatever the reason is. And that's perceived like it's not tech friendly. I don't quite know how that is, but um, that's what it is. Google just recently was 800 bucks, uh, almost say 799. It's down, you know, $23 from there. Actually, that's $30, $32 from there. So big swings in technology. Don't really know what the reason is, but all it looks like is could be end of the year, you know, profit taking. A lot of these stocks are up a lot. Um, so it depends. Uh, but that's the trend. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, too, is volatility, right? Um, volatility is up. Across the board near the money, we have a vote this weekend. So while we kind of have the SPX is sort of hanging out, let's say. Yep. Um, I think this could be a, an opportunity for technology. Um, I've been scooping a little myself. I think it is. But right now, it's going down. And I don't know. I think that is kind of a little bit of a buying opportunity. Uh, the Qs this year um, still are up on the year. Whoops. Um, I, I think it's – but if this the rotation continues, it's a hard, you know, I think it's a hard swing trade until they're done. Um, I don't really – I don't see, you know, here's January this year. We were 105. You know, we still got – there's still, um, you know, beginning of the year. I think what were we 108. So it's a you know we've had a good, still a good rally, not a crazy rally, but also technology earnings have been pretty overall have been pretty fantastic. Um, 
even NVIDIA uh, is losing a little steam finally. Hard to believe. So for whatever reason, everybody's plowing into oil, banks, commodities, all the stuff that has been forgotten. Uh, you know, again, we look at things like this. And as far as I see, um, I look at I look at premium like this. It's all way too cheap. Um, if they really want to pile into this stuff and the money wants to pile into it, you I think you just want to own gamma. The volatility is at your lows and you just sit and watch it run. Um, uh, those are the trades we're going to look for today in our uh, chat room. I don't see I don't see if there's any reason to fight the market um, with VIX where it is. You know, you know, there's only so far it can go down. So um, that's what we have. So as far as trend wise goes, I'm looking for what the market likes and where vol is cheap because at a 13 and a half VIX, I'm not a massive seller of volatility anywhere. Um, the only thing really that is, uh, and I will mention one last thing here before I go is we're getting, we have just, 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 right? Just a hint of, let's get a print here for the future. They haven't really printed yet. Okay, we just have a hint of, right, to the D7 future next week, right? It's almost, not quite backward, but close, right? A um, little bit of contango here, a little bit of contango to Ds we have. So it, the, it's at least for where the vol is, um, we could see a little bit more realized movement. The futures are kind of, yeah, I would say, giving kind of a mixed signal on that. Um, the treasuries after that uh, ADP report yesterday, it looks like the rate rise is all here. There's no, um, we had kind of a little short delta play in here, but they are preempting the rate rise big right now. Um, and that's what we have. So basically what we'll do is we'll be scanning for uh, cheap volatility in either the oils, oil production, commodities, or banks. Um, and as far as <laughs> Dave says, yeah, don't buy tech. Um, right now, yeah, there's huge sector rotation. So it's, it is not doing very well. So we're just going to sit and watch it. All right. And with that, um, I will see uh, many of you in our chat room today. Our Gold Lab is this afternoon. And you all have a good day.